WBG News 5 starts right now with breaking news. Hello, everyone. Welcome to News 5 at noon. I'm Devin Walsh. We begin with breaking news. A series of lawsuits has been filed in the aftermath of the 2017 Gulf Shores Mardi Gras parade crash that injured several students. The suits were filed on behalf of students who were hurt. News 5's Chad Petrie is following that story live in our newsroom. Chad? Well, Devin, I'm holding right here a pile of these suits. They're all a little bit different, but they have a common theme. Parade organizers weren't organized, and that led to kids getting hurt. The suits have been filed individually since September of last year, with one as late as Tuesday. The suits claim negligence on the part of parade organizers. In one suit, a plaintiff claims a parade organizer failed to conduct a pre-parade meeting, failed to coordinate parade participants, and allowed the defendants to operate an SUV in the parade when the permit called for a golf cart. Some suits also claim the defendants knew or should have known the driver of the SUV that hit the kids had medical issues at the time that could have impaired his ability to drive. The suits call for judgment in these cases for damages. In the 2017 incident, 12 students from Gulf Shores were hurt when an SUV driven by Lawrence Rathbun collided with students in the parade. Nearly a year after the crash, a grand jury determined no criminal charges would be filed in the case. News Five's Debbie Williams is doing more digging on this today, and we'll have additional details later on News 5. Live in the newsroom, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5. Thank you, Chad. We sent a push alert on this story just a short time ago. To stay up to date on local breaking news, download our free mobile app. You can get it on both Apple and Android devices.